In today's video, I'm making over one of my dressers. It's already been decoupaged and chalk painted. I've already removed the decoupage paper. Now I'm just sanding the surface smooth. The beauty of chalk paint is you can go over something you've previously chalk painted. All my prep work is done. So let's flip it. I decided to use the paintable wallpaper for the drawer fronts on this since they're sort of messied up. I don't want to really paint over that and I don't want to sand it down all the way, so I find the paintable wallpaper is a great solution. I've measured the length of all the drawers together and it's 25 inches. I'm going to repeat this process again so that I have enough to go the whole entire length of the drawers. And I have to make sure that my pattern matches up. That is so important, especially for what I'm gonna do. I wanna, you're really gonna be able to see the pattern on it, so we have to make sure that they line up. There's a little bit of excess on the top, so I have to cut about four or five inches off, and then the pattern meets again. Now I'm measuring each drawer individually. My first one is four inches. I do it one at a time. So now I'm just cutting four inches off the top. The hardest part about this, <laughs> I'll be honest, is to keep your pattern in order. It's almost like a puzzle. And if you mix one up, then the whole thing gets mixed up. So just be sure to stay organized and place each piece where it goes every time you cut it. Because if you don't place it on the drawer front, um, and you just put it in a little pile, your pattern will definitely get mixed up. And I'm speaking from experience. <laughs> The first half of the dresser is all ready to go. Now I need to cut my papers for the second half of the dresser following the same process. I'm using Zinzer's Sure Grip as my glue. This is paintable wallpaper. It's definitely dippable. You can use this as you would a regular wallpaper for your wall and dip it in the water and do all that. The reason I'm not is because it's really messy and I just prefer to put the glue on the back of the paper and then put the glue on the drawer front, smooth it out and leave it. And it's not messy, it works great. That wallpaper is not coming off. So that's just my preference. I know some people are gonna say, why didn't you dip it? Because I don't want to. <laughs> that's basically, that's it. There's no other rhyme or reason to it. So I just smooth it out and it's just super simple this way. Now I like to leave it overnight or you can leave it for eight hours, just leave it a a good while and let that adhesive really dry and then I take my razor and I just cut any excess wallpaper off and then to get my lines nice and smooth I'm using my 180 sanding pad to just smooth it out. Now my drawer fronts are all finished and I want to go back to the base of the dresser. I've already previously painted this in Dixie Belle's caviar it's a really really dark black but i've scuff sanded the entire piece because i did seal it i wanted to just scuff sand it and make sure we have some um, good adhesion for the paint i'm using right now and that's dixie bells in the navy when i put it on it looks like a sort of brighter blue but it dries as a nice dark navy blue and I'm covering the entire base within the navy. I also do the insides of the drawers, so when you pull them out, it looks nicer. I just think it looks more uniform and nice that way, so you don't have to see the wood or the black that I'd previously painted. And to be sure my paint goes on nice and smooth, I'm always using my water mister to move my chalk paint around. You know, once your paint starts drying up and you're still trying to move it, that's when you get a lot of brush strokes and dragging and it just doesn't look so great. So you can absolutely use a water mister or water your paint down, 
when you're painting and it just makes it look really nice that really um, nice smooth finish So for the drawer fronts, I'm going to keep it a little bit sped up because I'm not doing any special technique. I'm just laying the paint on the drawer fronts over the wallpaper. And my first color is going to be antebellum blue. There's nothing fancy going on here. I just need one coat of the paint and I'm just trying to get it on the best I can. So I do use my water mister too to make sure that I get in all the little swirls of the pattern. So my first and third drawer are going to be just antebellum blue. My second drawer is going to be Dixie Belle's mermaid tail. My dog leaned up against the paint the whole day he had blue paint on and I couldn't figure out why. And then I watched the video and boom, there's that moment. And this last drawer is Dixie Belle's Bunker Hill Blue. My first coat is all dry, so now I need to put on a second coat. I'm going to use all four colors all over these drawer fronts. I just want there to be a variation of the four blues sort of blended together. I'm not really concentrating on blending lines or anything like that um, because I know that my next step is going to be to apply Dixie Belle's mousse. Most of what I do here is going to be covered with the mousse because I'm going to place the mousse all over the paintable wallpaper details. But I want there to be a variation of these blues underneath showing through. This piece was originally supposed to be pink. Right before I started painting it blue, I had customized a um, color pink that I wanted to use. And somehow, I don't know, I just, right before I was gonna put the pink on, I went right to my cabinet and I found these four colors just sitting there. And I was like, I need to do something creative and different. And I put the pink away and I just started painting. I think it's good to do something out of the box sometimes, just something different. Um, I just sort of went with how I was feeling. I, you know, most of the time I have my projects really well thought out. I've thought about, you know, I love brainstorming and creating and thinking, but this one, I really just didn't. I went for it as I went along. There is no rhyme or reason to it. I just... I don't know, I just had to do something different and creative and for myself. I actually listened to a 10-minute um, podcast from Cristana from Bella Renavare. She has those 10-minute podcasts and she had spoke about burnout and she talked about um, doing a piece for yourself once in a while and I think that's actually what was going on here. Um, I That was in the back of my head and when I was doing the pink, that wasn't exactly what I wanted to do. It wasn't how I was feeling that day. So I just went ahead and I did this. It was different for me and it's not going to be for everybody, but it was something that I needed to do for me. So I had a base of antebellum blue there and then I added some in the navy and now I'm just adding little specks of Bunker Hill blue. And here comes a little bit of that mermaid tail. I 
I did end up adding palmetto to the mermaid tail drawer because the mermaid tail drawer is so bright and the rest of my drawers are pretty dark. I just wanted to sort of darken it up a little bit and but I would still wanted it to be green and different from the others. And then I'm just blending the two colors. And then I wanna add a little bit more antebellum blue to sort of tie it all in. And for my third drawer that was the base of antebellum blue, I'm just adding some in the navy and bunker hill blue. In the navy on the bottom, bunker hill blue on the top antebellum blue in the middle. And this is the antebellum blue over the Bunker Hill blue and then we'll blend those out. And I added little touches of in the navy on the bottom drawer. Now here's what we're left with when it's all dry. Now for all the little details on the paintable wallpaper, I'm using the Dixie Belle Gemstone Mousse in the color Amber. I put the tiniest amount on my fingertip at a time, and then I just rub it over the raised details. And I'm not super focused on it just staying on the raised details. I know that it that's almost impossible so it but it looks good either way it looks good even if it's off because there's these little dots and it's kind of part of the design so I actually continue this on the entire drawer fronts on the entire design I don't know if I would have normally done the entire thing um, but because I was just really enjoying the process, I just kind of had fun with it and I just kept adding gemstone mousse. So I did end up putting the gemstone mousse on all the edges and I started with my fingertip again, but then I quickly realized that wasn't going to work. So I went and I used a brush and that just made all the difference in the world. I seal the entire piece with Dixie Belle's clear coat in satin. Right before I applied my sealer, I wiped it down with a rag. Those are just marks because I think there was a little bit of dried paint on there, but they'll go away as soon as I apply the sealer. I've let the gemstone mousse cure for 24 hours before applying the sealer. I actually let it cure for two days, but I just was being very careful and I wanted to be sure that I wasn't gonna smear it. Another option that you can do with gemstone mousse is add a little bit of your sealer to the mousse so that there's no smearing. But if you let it dry long enough, you're not gonna have a problem. I ordered some new hardware off of Amazon Prime, but I need to use the adhesion primer. Um, so I'm using Slick Stick and I do two coats waiting for it to dry in between coats. And then I waited a couple hours later to put my paint on. 
I'm painting the hardware with two coats of In the Navy, waiting for it to dry in between coats. I wanted to use this because all the colors on the drawers, that dark color on the base of the entire dresser will also be the base of the hardware. And I think it'll all just mesh really nicely. And to make all those details on the hardware pop, I'm using the gemstone mousse in the same color amber. You just need a tiny bit on your finger. Such a tiny bit goes a really long way. I put so much gemstone mousse on this piece and I still have like half a little container. Just be sure to use a light touch when you're applying it or it'll go beyond the little details. Now to apply the hardware, we've covered our hardware holes with the wallpaper. So I just take my screw and I pop it through on the other side. And here we are all finished. I had so much fun doing this piece. I didn't plan it. I didn't really think about it. I just dove in and started creating and having fun. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you next week.